My name is Saurabh Galagli. I'm an orthopedic surgeon in private practice at a place called Monterey Spine and Joint in beautiful Monterey, California. My specialty is orthopedics and spine surgery, and I'm going to take the next couple of minutes to describe, in general, two medical conditions called cervical myelopathy and cervical spinal stenosis. Spinal stenosis is a medical term that describes narrowing of the space available for the spinal cord and the nerve roots in the spinal canal. Cervical myelopathy, on the other hand, is a degenerative spinal condition that is a common cause of neck pain, clumsiness, difficulty walking, and problems with coordination and balance. Spinal stenosis causes a narrowing of the canal, and if the pressure is severe enough, cervical myelopathy will occur. These two conditions most commonly affect people after the age of 60, but sometimes we see these conditions in younger patients who have large cervical disc herniations or very small spinal canals. The most common reason that someone develops cervical myelopathy is because the natural aging process that causes arthritis of the spine narrows the spinal canal and squeezes the spinal cord. If this pressure is present for several months or so, the spinal cord will show signs of deterioration and bruising on the MRI scan of the neck. The radiologists describe this finding as T2 signal change because the damage to the spinal cord shows up as a bright white signal in the center of the spinal cord on a particular part of the MRI scan called the T2 weighted image. Let's look at a couple of MRI images of the cervical spine. This first image is a normal MRI scan of the neck. In this image, there is the normal alignment of the bones and the discs of the spine, and there is plenty of space around the spinal cord inside the spinal canal. This space contains a fluid called cerebral spinal fluid that bathes and protects the spinal cord. The cord floats in this fluid, and on the MRI scan, the cord has a normal, consistent, dark appearance, and it is functioning normally. This is an MRI scan of a patient with cervical stenosis due to arthritis. In this image, the discs are degenerating and bulging in towards the spinal canal and the canal is narrowed. This patient has cervical spinal stenosis and degenerative disc disease of the cervical spine, but they don't have cervical myelopathy because the spinal cord still has a normal, consistent, dark appearance. While there is narrowing of the spinal canal, the pressure is not so severe that the patient needs an operation. In many cases, these patients can be safely watched over several years to make sure that their condition does not get worse with time. In this image, the patient has both cervical spinal stenosis and cervical myelopathy. Like the previous image, the discs of the neck have degenerated and they are bulging in towards the spinal canal. However, in this image, the pressure is so severe that the spinal cord has been bruised by the constant pressure. This shows up as a bright white signal in the center of the spinal cord, and this is a condition that needs to be evaluated by a spinal expert right away. Cervical myelopathy is a condition that usually needs to be treated with an operation. The pressure on the spinal cord needs to be alleviated or the patient's ability to control their arms and legs will get worse and the changes will become permanent. If the condition is treated early enough, the numbness and lack of coordination in the hands should improve after the operation. However, if the pressure has been present for many years, in some instances the best that we can hope for is that the condition won't get any worse. In any case, if you have cervical spinal stenosis or cervical myelopathy, you should be seen by someone who is an expert in the diagnosis and treatment of degenerative spinal conditions right away. We like taking care of patients with cervical myelopathy because in general, they are very pleased with the results of surgery and we like making people better. We look forward to having the opportunity to take care of you at Monterey Spine and Joint, where we believe that a team approach to spinal disorders achieves great results.